Hey everyone, today we will talk about Washington quarters struck by Denver and Philadelphia Mint. Look into mintage, current value and most valuable uncirculated specimens sold in auctions so far. The 1981p Washington quarter is very common in circulated grades and can still be pulled from circulation. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, in uncirculated grades, it's common up to about MS65 grade and can be found in rolls or mint sets. Examples in MS66, they are much tougher, but there are still hundreds of examples available and are worth nearly $50. In MS67 conditions, they are hard to find with less than a few dozen known. Anything above MS67 designation is considered super rare and can make you over $4,000. PCGS reported only two examples at MS67 plus grade so far. When it comes to Denver variants, the mean struck more than half million examples, so they are in abundance at circulation. Only in MS67 and higher, they are considered rare. At mean stage 67 plus, they are worth over $1,125 today. One of the most expensive specimens was sold in 2018 on eBay. This quarter at mean stage 67 ended up selling for $700. Now this error 1981 quarter is much more valuable than high mean state condition quarters. 1981D 25 cents with flip over double struck error. An impressive double struck mint error. The first strike occurred with partial indent over the lower reverse. The second strike occurred with another planchet between this piece and the reverse tie. The date and mint mark are visible from both strikes, but the second impression is significantly sharper in the date area. An incredibly well preserved piece with satin and nickel silver luster. Sold on August 15, 2024, $7,200. Wrong planchet errors are also highly demanded. For instance, this 1981p Washington Quarter struck on a nickel planchet that means they 64 with weight of 5 grams was bargained for little less than $300 at Stax Powers. 